Okay, let's start having a look at all the textures. In this example, there are a lot of really high resolution textures, for example, all those on the wall. And most of them are really high resolution. For the quest, you should work with something like 128 or 256 or something like very small. And if we have a look, for example, at this picture here and we open it up, you can see it's 4K resolution, 4K times 2K. And this is really, 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 really bad. So the quest has a lot of problems working with this kind of resolutions. So we should compress them. You could do it in here, but the more efficient way mm, performance wise is to really export all of those textures and then go back in uh, in Photoshop, rescale them and import them again. This way you would um, also gain some, some memory some space disks um, that your application is not too big but for the sake of the tutorial we can also go in there and you have the possibility to clamp it at a max resolution this is done here under the LOD bias and if you increase this number you can see that now the maximal in-game resolution is kept at this so I would say go in there and really find a camera's um, angle where you can see the picture and then increase this number until you start seeing a difference. For example, if I set this to six, you can really see the image is totally blurry. Let's try five. And from here, you can see it's blurry, but if you're here, you can't really see it, especially not if you are at the quest. So you basically only need a resolution of 200 um, uh, times 60 instead of the 4K resolution that was there in the beginning. So we can save this. And you basically have to go through here and do this for all of the textures. A uh, good way to start, I would say, is go in there, select all the textures, and let's do um, where is it um, here bulk edit via property matrix and with this tool you can change properties for all of these actors at once so here's the LOD bias let's select all of them and let's search for the LOD bias and let's put in something like four and now he goes through all of those textures and applies an LOD bias of four. This needs some time. And then we go in and have a look at all the different textures and really try to see where we would need to change it. So let's close this down. Let's save everything. And now you can see that all of them are kept at this resolution. So this is a very fast way to edit a lot of properties at once. And as you can see, for most of the pictures, if you hear, you can't really spot a difference. And this is also true for things like the normal maps or the roughness maps. Generally speaking, you don't need a very high resolution roughness map for the Oculus Quest. So at the floor, it's very noticeable that the that the base color is too low resolution. So let's open up the albedo texture. This is this one here. And let's increase it. And you can see here it really makes a difference if you're using one, you can see a difference to two, but I think this is okay. So right now we are looking at a 1K resolution and for something as big as the, as the floor, it may be fine to work with that. But if we go in there and have a look, for example, there's also an ambient occlusion. 
texture and I'm quite sure that you won't recognize a big difference here if we set this to 2 or set it to 5. It's really not that big of a difference. So let's set it to 128. And you can go in there and now tweak all the different textures regarding to what you see in the viewport. So really go in there. For example, here the resolution of the wood, that's too low. So let's see what texture is on there. It's this one. And let's decrease the LOD bias. So maybe something like this would work. So we have a 1K resolution instead of the 4K. And here we also have lost a lot of details. So let's check this out. Of course, you can also go the other way around and say, OK, you start with the um, default settings and increase it for everything but i found in this scene it's much better and faster if you change everything with a bulk edit and then go in and make the changes where you really visibly see the difference one thing you should uh, consider is you should always work with a power of two so you should never have a texture that is not a power of two android really has big performance issues if you do that and you can go in there and uh, look for yourself if everything is a power of two. I have my little script here, this clean me up tool. If I run it, I have the possibility to define the folder I want to have a look in. For example, now I want to see uh, search in the textures folder and include my subfolders. And now I want to find all textures that are not a power of two. And you can see in this project, there are three different textures. City background, for example, is one of them. So let's open it up. City background, this one here, you can see it has a resolution of 1600 times uh, 128. And even if you change this, this here, Unreal is not able to change the max in-game size. So this would always be in this resolution and this is very bad. So we would go in there and export this resolution, change it to something appropriate and uh, import it again. There are also tools in there uh, you can use to do that. So in this case, what you could also do is where well, we, we could delete it and replace it with another image for example there another city one let's use a cat picture everyone likes cats texture cat so let's replace it but the correct the right way would be to really go in there and export it change it in photoshop and import it again so let's run the script again because there were other ones that we have. Ah, <laughs> nice. The one that with the cat I just used is also not a power of two. So really bad example in this case. It's this one here. You can see this is not at all a power of two. So in th this case, let's let's do it the right way and we export it and let's import it into Photoshop. And in this case, let's do a simple crop. So we want to have one by one, something like this. Now we have our cat image. And also, if we're already in Photoshop, let's change the picture size to something appropriate like, like this. This should be big enough. And let's save it again. And you can see before it was 50 megabytes and now 
if I save it, you can see that now I only have like uh, 130 kilobytes. So a huge gain here. And let's import it into, into Unreal again. So let's open it up. with the same name. So now you can see it's imported correctly. And now if I run the script again, there's only one left, the one with the cathedral. So this one here, let's also export it and do the same. So I have Photoshop still open. I can just drag and drop it in here, rescale it. Size is already right and I override it. And re-import it. And now I need to make sure that I'm not using any mid maps here because I don't need them. Also, I don't need an alpha channel because now the mid maps are working. So now if I run the script again at one last time, I can see there are no textures that are not a power of two anymore in there. So that's fine. I could also go in here and remove um, unused assets in this folder, but I'm currently using all of those assets. So this is good. You could and really should go in there and remove everything that is not essential for your actual project. Also, while we are in there, let's open up the project settings and check that our create compressed cooked package is turned on to create smaller packages for the quest. And yeah, basically this is everything you need to do in order to optimize the textures in here. The next thing, ah, one thing I forgot, the plans seem to be in a different folder. Let's check it out. Yeah, you can see the plans are all in a different folder and they are all 4K. So once again, this is much too expensive. Let's open all of them up again. Select all of them. And again, let's use the LOD bias of four to downsize everything at once. And then we go back in there and see what we need to increase in order to work fine. For example, here you can see this was really a big visual change. So let's select the material and let's start with the albedo map. Okay, this is much better. So it's now 1K, maybe 512. 512 is also enough. The opacity map seems to also make problems. So let's select our opacity map and try to decrease the bias. Here you can see really a difference between three and four, but not between two and three. So I would stick with three. And this way we have a good optical representation. It's not as sharp as before, but as I said, you we are on the Oculus Quest with a lot of lower resolutions and we are not that close to it. So this should work. And the same we should do for the other textures in here. So especially the uh, I did a mistake. So what was the name? Beautiful naming convention here. 
it was this one here and here I need to increase the quality so let's check it out okay also here three seems to be good and if I think this would work for all the other ones so I select all of the opacity ones again go into my bulk edit and instead of the uh, four let's let's do three for all of them and now all of them should be looking good so that's fine okay and basically go in there and for all the textures you're using make sure you're using really really small texture resolutions and i would also say that you should um, pick up your quest from time to time just make a quick launch on uh, on, on the quest and really try to see if you can see uh, spot the difference between a 1k texture and a 512 or even 128 or something really slow uh, really low and yeah go through all your textures adjust them the way you you need and in the next tutorial we are going to have a look at the shader because we watched the um, how to optimize the static meshes now we optimize the textures the next thing would be to optimize all of the materials and then we are good to go to start really doing some fun stuffs with this scene and also then we can go back in there and uh, rebuild our lighting that we have a little better um yeah better representation of the what the final scene might actually look like so let's see you in the next tutorial